and it's homebrew coming at you with another beer review today. It's spring, what can you say? We're kind of going in and out of that, you know, cold, gloomy, wet, sun, cold, gloomy, wet kind of transitions. So what the heck, I can stay with my dark beers. Today we've got one from San Francisco from Speakeasy Ales and Lagers. It's the Payback Porter. You know, I always love the little eyes they've got up on the top of these brews. <laughs> so I'm going to get this one cracked open and we're going to give it a try. Wow, okay, I'll admit to an aggressive pour, so i got a full finger head on there. Nice and creamy, though, I'll admit. Not all rocky that you might expect from a hard pour. And this thing is almost completely opaque. I just, off the very bottom of the glass, get the lightest bit of a brown color. A nice, actually, almost... Not quite mocha, but it's a dark tan head on that. Um, this is a 7.5% ABV beer. Uh, I've seen it listed as American Porter, but I'm sure this is going to fall more into the category of what you would call a robust porter. Let's get the nose on the Payback Porter. Oh, yeah, very nice. And that is a nice uh, porter aroma. That's not a stout for sure, but... You get some nice chocolate aroma as well as some dark roasted malts on that. Maybe just the slightest hint of like a coffee or espresso. And the, char the chocolate like kind of lends towards uh, a little bit like a dark chocolate but almost like a, like a cocoa powder to be honest. I think there's just like a hint of like some yeast like fruity esters but just just slightly you know it almost has the the smell of a just a really rich brown ale too kind of that that roast brown aroma type scent so all right let's get a taste on this one cheers Very nice, very nice. It's very roasty, some deep roast, nice chocolate on this. If, if I remember correctly too, I don't think that they put like uh, any uh, uh, cocoa nibs in there at all. I think this is all from, from like chocolate malts and roasted malts. Wow, that's, that's an, Excellent porter. It's definitely going to fall in the category of a robust porter. Yeah, I mean, it's much too dark to be a, a like a brown porter. It has very rich flavors. Just the slightest hint of a bitterness on the backside from the hops. Just, just lightly. It's actually a, a very um, full body on that. Um, really creamy texture to it. It pretty well coats the whole mouth, which is nice. The The context of drinking it is, is really great on this one. I gotta tell you, it's like, um, it starts off with these creamy but roasty flavors coming into the mouth. It goes into this nice chocolate malt in the middle. And then as it tapers off towards the back end, you keep some of that chocolate, but you go a little bit more back into the roasted. And you pick up just the lightest amount of bitterness on the back side. Just very, very light. Just enough to balance things out. It, it doesn't really dry out, though. It stays pretty creamy on the mouth. Just, just semi-dry, just ever so slightly. Um, Really, really well-made beer, I, I'd have to say. Um, particularly considering, you know, this hasn't been uh, like like your stouts would be. There's no cocoa nibs and things like that. It's just all done with the malts. And sometimes they taste more like a brown, you know, a brown porter or brown ale. No, this is very much a, a robust porter. Well done. Very nicely made. Well, I'm enjoying this. I'm going to take a moment to, to sip on this, and I'll be back with a final verdict 
on the Payback Porter from Speakeasy. So I, I tried to come back and talk to y'all, but uh, I got a text from Josh just as I started back in. Another beer reviewer, good guy, home brewer. Anyway, my nephew. So, <laughs> Payback Porter. Um, I hope I didn't uh, wait too long and just get too happy on this, but I'm really enjoying this beer. This is really, really a nice porter. They did a great job. I mean, for, for no cocoa nibs in this, just just the uh, you know chocolate roasts, I'm sure, and the, the dark roasts and so forth. The balance on this is really, truly very good. Uh, I'm just really loving this. And I think as a robust porter, honestly, to, I have to give them a 93. This is an excellent beer, I should say. May not be world class, hard to say, but a 93 puts it in an excellent rating. Let me take another sip and I'll, I'll see what I'm going to personally give it. You know, my overall rating has nothing to do with the style. It's just where I place it against probably all styles of beers, just my personal enjoyment level. And my personal enjoyment is really high on this. This is a great beer. Um, I'm going to drop down to only a 91. I'm leaving it in the excellent category. I think it is. It's on the low end of excellent. One I certainly would enjoy having again. There's no question about that. From Clement Sombrew, life is too short to drink cheap beer, and I will see you in the next beer review. Well, I went to watch some videos and poured the rest, and the phone goes off. Of course, the phone's going off now. Damn, it's probably Josh. I, I, I bet money that it's Josh. It's Josh. <laughs> he know he always knows to, to text me in the middle of bear review somehow. <laughs> oh Josh. You keep screwing this up. Where the fuck did I leave off? Okay, that wasn't hard. But that was freaking hard. My phone keeps going off. I don't know what Josh is saying now. I gotta finish this.